Welcome back party members to some more Jack in a Castle. My name is Haven and today we are going to go ahead and finish Jack's route. Let's go ahead and hop right on into it. Yeah, I think if we want to side with Jack, we'll do I don't know. Jack seemed so sad when he was talking about the king. Maybe the king was suicidal or something, I don't know. But I don't get the feeling Jack really wants to keep the king asleep. For now, I'll just play along with whatever Jack is up to. That's fair. Oh, he hello. Hi. You seem, uh, not happy. I'm a bit tired. Oh, okay. <laughs> Goliathos, stay pure, please. Uh, even though we had like five lines of awkward silence there. So, so care to uh, hear how my s search is going? Sure. In the end, the intruder is Sylvester Sound. There is no ifs or buts about it. Time to catch him. Yes, I might uh, anger the Sound family. But this is about the king's security. I can't just let things slide j just because he is famous. Exactly. You're doing great work. Thank you. I, I shall get right to it. This might actually be better for me. If Sylvester is locked behind bars, I won't have to worry being caught talking to him. And I don't think he's going to tell on me since we were supposedly still working together. Anyhow, I don't think wandering around is helping me clear my thoughts at all. I'll call it a day and go to sleep. Let's go sleepy time. Good mart. Ah, oh, oh, it's you. Good morning, good morning. What's wrong? Nothing, nothing. Why are you here? Just checking if you need me for anything. Nope, no, not at all. You're being weird. No, I'm not. Just, uh, go do your things. Or slack off. You got my permission to slack off. Something is, uh, burning. Ah, no. And then the entire kitchen goes up in flames. The cook takes something out of the oven. It was probably supposed to be a cake. Ah, well, it can't be helped. She offers me the, uh, cake. Congratulations on your full-time employment. Well, we'll just be thankful, why not? Thank you very much. Haha, <laughs> this isn't much of a surprise, is it? I'm plenty surprised. Heh, <laughs> thanks. I should bake you another cake. It's probably still edible. Under the burnt bits. No way, it's all dry and horrible. I'll make another one, but it has to wait until tomorrow. Take your time. Apparently I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. That's right. I help her in the kitchen for a bit. Then I ate some of the burnt cake despite Annette's protest. It was dry, just like she said, but still okay. I feel a lot better. I decide to visit Jack. Enter. Hello, Jack. I brought you some cake. I offered Jack some of the burnt cake. You made that yourself, did you? No, the cook made it. She was going to throw it in the trash. Where it belongs. Fine, I'll eat it all by myself. Be my guest. Well, anyhow, I'm delighted to see you. I choke on some of the cake and start coughing all over Jack's belongings. Oh, now they're covered in my cake. Oh yes, absolutely delighted. You are? Not so much anymore. But do tag along, I must redo the sleep spell. I leave the cake in Jack's room. He doesn't seem to notice. His room is going to be filled with ants, just like, <laughs> just according to plan. Jack leads us to the king's lair. I wonder why he wanted me to join him, there's nothing for me to do here. The other day he said he'd teach me how to use the Dreamcaster, but he cast the spell before I get a chance to get a good look. This place could use a dusting. Dust away if you wish, but spare me from your small talk. I thought you wanted some company. Indeed, but I didn't necessarily want you to speak. Right. Ah, it's just... It's been exactly three months now since I put the king to sleep. I thought he could sleep it off. But I stand corrected. Sleep what off? The misery, obviously. Jack, I have no idea what you're talking about. I told you last time we were here. The king was overtaken by some foolish grievances, and he remains so. Right. If you say so. How can you be so nonchalant about this? I don't know. I don't get why it's such a big deal. How can you not get it when I've already explained it twice? Maybe you need to take the time to properly tell me. Or maybe you should. Ah. Uh, hmm? Ah, never mind, you're right. I shouldn't assume you can connect the dots on your own. That's slightly more condescending than necessary. Don't read so much into it, I'm just stating the facts. So what happens if the king wakes up? I'd rather not say. Uh, I don't know, let's keep grilling him. So you don't know? So you don't know? Of course I know. And I would think you know too after everything I've told you. But alas, dot connecting just isn't your thing, Marion. Or maybe you think I know more than you actually told me. What if I failed to tell you then? Well, that, um... Well, I wouldn't know because you didn't tell me. 
Ah, yes, such a paradox. For one thing, you could tell me how does that thing work. Be a little more specific, Marion. The thing you put the king to sleep with. Ah, yes, this, the Dreamcaster. I got it from a witch who saw what's happening with the king. It's not normal sleep, in case you're wondering. He can't see or hear us, but if I bring him food, he'll eat it. Sometimes he moves around, too. Sleepwalking and, uh, sleep eating. I can only assume it's to keep the body alive while the mind sleeps. I see, I think. Marion! What? what You sure are curious. Any reason why? It's just I've never seen something like it before. Is that it? Is that all? Sure, you don't want this for yourself to do as you please with. What? No. Liar. I should put you to sleep too. Jack. Of course not. Have a little faith in me, Marion. I have faith that you're mad. Oh shit, we're finally getting the kiss. Let's go. <laughs> I'm not insane, angry, or insanely angry. But I am tired of being in this room, so let's be on our way. Oh. <laughs> let's go, we're going to sleep with him. Hmm? No, wait. What? Isn't this... Jack inspects the king closer. Isn't this dimmer than usual? I don't know what the usual is. Weird. He casts the spell again. I guess the glow got a little brighter, I'm not sure. That's it, that's the usual. I must have done it sloppy earlier, just like I'll do you sloppy later. Yeah, you did it pretty fast. Exactly, nothing to worry over. Hearing that just makes me worry. Yeah. I mean, the, the spell on the king is probably fading. It's been three months. I don't know how much that Dreamcaster can hold up. I went to bed worrying over Jack, who's worrying over the king. I don't understand why he is so obsessed with keeping the king asleep. I fall asleep without figuring out anything. The guard looks busy. He walks back and forth and back and forth. Hi. Ah. How did it go with the intruder? Ah, that, well, uh, you, you see, um, we, we've captured Sylvester Sound. He didn't put, put up any fight at all. Huh? So he's here? Yes, in the dungeons. Oh, crap. With the other intruder. Well, they're in separate cells, but yes, we have them both now. That's, I mean, <laughs> I don't think it's a good idea to keep them in the same area. They're working together after all. I don't think it's a problem. They're both behind bars now. Uh, but Bunny will tell Sylvester I'm the reason Bunny got caught, and they'll turn against me. Ah, actually. Huh? huh? What? What is it? I was walking around the castle the other day, and I think the dungeon isn't very secure anymore. Oh shit, we're just spilling all the beans now. What? What do you mean? I think I saw a weak spot in there. Where? Where indeed. Sylvester didn't tell me where exactly he located it. In somewhere there. Sorry, I forgot. I'll look into it right away. Th thanks for telling me. That still doesn't stop them from telling the guard and others about me. But I think my cover story with Jack is pretty solid and sort of true. I just pretended to help them. That's my version and I'm sticking to it. I should get to work. But I'm not going to waste another minute cutting these vines. They're cursed or something. They're never ending. Perhaps I'll check the kitchen app. What the? Ah, the vines are growing. I can see them growing, like right before my eyes. Uh, yeah, I mean, Jack likes when we run to him first, so I have to go tell Jack. The door was unlocked. No one is here. He must have felt the shaking too. Ah, uh, I ran up the stairs for nothing. Jack is probably helping the king already. Soon the vines stop growing. Everything goes quiet. Jack opens the door. What are you standing there for? What happened? Come in. The king is asleep, but he has clearly been thrashing around. This bloody spellcaster isn't doing its job anymore. The spell was about to break. Huh? Looks like I'm going to have to cast it more often now. So what was that shaking in the vines? Boy, you are slow. That was the king waking up. Oh. Something finally clicks in my brain. My full brain cell is firing at full speed. Oh. The vines come from his majesty. So the castle is warping because of the king. I see you're finally catching on. How many times did I already tell you this? Zero. You never told me. You just told me he's asleep because he's miserable. Why do you think I'm keeping him asleep? I don't know. I don't know why you do anything, Jack. His majesty's negativity is affecting the whole kingdom. But don't worry. A little rest will do the trick. He'll be fine. I think we kind of got to confront him here. It doesn't seem that way to me. Doesn't seem that way to me. What do you know? You don't know anything. I know now that the king is dangerous. See that? That's the reason I can't tell anyone about this. All you care about is your own safety. 
His majesty is in pain, but all you focus on is whether or not it's going to inconvenience you. To say it's inconvenient is an understatement. Had you not come here on time, I bet the whole castle would have crashed down. But I did come here on time, and I'll continue to do so every day until the king has recovered. And so are you, Marion. That's why I've let you in on the secret. There's got to be a better way than this. Should you come up with one, I'm all ears. But until then, we'll just make sure the king stays asleep. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Good. I knew you would because you're smart. That's why I've picked you to do this with me. I'd be flattered if I wasn't so terrified right now. Whatever, you'll get used to it. Ah. <sighs> I don't want to get used to being terrified. Anyhow, now that the Dreamcaster has grown weaker, I really need to show you how to use it. That way we can take turns checking up on His Majesty. Jack taught me how to use the Dreamcaster. He promised to get me a duplicate key to the King's Lair as soon as possible. Let's go, we can finally break into the King's room as much as we want. But is that really enough? What if His Majesty wakes up anyway? I don't get why is Jack so sure the King would get better with some rest. Me neither. I tried to get some sleep, but my mind kept conjuring up nightmare scenarios of the King waking up and going on a rampage. Same. Good morning. I, uh, Mina, good. Good morning. I came to, to give you this. He hands me a letter. Thank you. It, it, it's not from me. Oh, you meant the, oh, uh, never mind. Never mind, see you later. <laughs> Goodbye, Goliathos, as he hurries away. The letter is from my master. He's trying so hard not to ask directly about the king. He must have been worried someone else might read the letter. Please find the missing socks, he writes. The whole town is in urgent need of updates about your carrot growing progress. Oh, we're gonna lie to him. Because I think that was one of the concerns in the previous playthrough, is that they think that the king would be checking our messages. So we'll tell Master everything is fine. I write back that the carrots are growing well. They still need some time, but it's looking like a good harvest. Nothing is actually well. The king might awaken and destroy the kingdom for all I know. But Jack, trust me, I won't say a word to anyone. Let's go, we're gonna get in Jack's pants before long. It's nice being out. I have been stuck in the castle for what feels like forever. Unbelievable. It's been months now. Where is the king? Uh, I know. Why isn't anyone doing anything? Someone should just overthrow that clown Jack. That's what I'm saying. He isn't even doing anything but giving those awful speeches. I mean, they're not wrong. I can understand the frustration of the people. Jack could have told the truth about the king. Instead, he's keeping everyone in the dark. And his speeches are awful too. Still, that doesn't mean I don't feel bad for Jack. I return to the castle after sending my letter. I see Jack in one of the windows. He must have been watching over me. I wave at him, he seems surprised, and waves back. I wish that there was like a little like outline of like Jack in like one of the windows here. Just like hanging out, like, hello! I had no idea your vision was so sharp. I assumed it's as dull as everything else about you. Thank you, Jack. I find your wit as dull as I am. Lovely. Now if you're done, follow along. Let's go. I follow Jack. I follow Jack to his room. It's time. <laughs> he hands me a key. Here, a duplicate key as promised. I've left the Dreamcaster in the chest by the bed. I'll cast the spell during the evenings, you in the morning. Ah, this won't fix anything. Excuse me? The king is dangerous. I know that. What if he wakes up? What do you think we're trying to do here? The king won't wake up, I'm making sure of it. And one day you'll fail to do that, then what? I won't fail. We, we need fighting, fighting haven for this uh, conversation. What if you fall down some stairs and break your neck? What then? Then my lovely stand-in Marion takes care of it. What if I stumble down the stairs as well? Mm, I love stumble, stumbling down the stairs is... Then I'd say something really needs to be done about the stairs. Jack. Marion. Ah, fine. This isn't going anywhere. I'll help you, of course, but we have to find some better solution. There was never a disagreement about that. <sighs> now, since you have... Now, since you have the key, why don't you go test it out? Trying to get rid of me, huh? Yes, now go. Get out of my hair. Jack won't listen to me at all. The key works fine. The spellcaster works fine, too. The king sleeps with a frown. I frown back at him. He frowns harder. Some king this is, all he does is sleep and destroy things. Am I supposed to want to help him? I mean, we're really only here to help Jack. If it were up to me, I'd leave this guy to rot. 
Jack is doing fine as the new king. If his sleeping majesty hates the world so bad, how about he just end himself? Holy shit, Marion. No need to take his misery out on the rest of the world. Dang. Now Marion's gone full doomer with the king. She's like, yeah, just do it. Just just get rid of yourself, Mr. Your Majesty. Let Jack finally take over. <sighs> I can't stay here. I'm getting too upset. Yeah, <laughs> that's a understatement. Goliathos and his men are chopping down vines. Oh, uh, hello, Mart. That's useless, they'll grow back. Er, what? The the vines? Yeah, I've been cutting them for weeks now, but here we are. They, they really grew a lot the other day. Must have been, uh, uh, because of the rain? It's like he's avoiding answering me. Why do you keep cutting them? Well, um, it's just... We all have to walk through here, so... Oh, right. You're such a man, Goliathos. You're such a man, Goliathos. Ah, uh, ha, er, uh, th th thank you. You're out here doing what you can, like a hero. It, uh, it isn't that big of a deal. I wish I had a man like you. Huh? I, I mean, I wish I was a man like you. Well, uh, um, you can do it. I believe in you. Right, right. We take out some vines together. We murder them. A letter has been placed on the table. It's from Master. I'm delighted about the carrots, he writes. I hope you'll bring some home soon. We have no other carrots at this point in time. The harvest has been bad. Please stay in good health and keep me updated on the delicate growing progress. Master has no idea how bad things are going, but I can't tell him either, and I'm not sure I'd want to. He's getting old. I don't know if his heart could handle the situation. <sighs> I wish the king would just die. That would solve all these problems. Oh, we're gonna do it. I should get some sleep and plot my own murder of the king. My thoughts are getting too grim for my own liking. <sighs> I'm supposed to cast the spell in the mornings, right? I should uh, get it over with. What are you doing here? Force of habit. Or perhaps I'm here to see if you'd show up or not. Well, I did. So you did. Congratulations. Amazing, fantastic, and wonderful. Well, he seems to be in a great mood. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, if you don't mind, hurry up and cast the spell. Right. I cast a spell and the glow grows stronger. Ah, do it again. Why? It's dim, even dimmer than the other day. I cast the spell once more. The glow is ever so slightly stronger. Hmm. Ha. Huh. Yeah, I think we're getting to the the uh, end of the lifespan of the Dreamcaster. This isn't working. This isn't working. I can see that myself. Okay then, I'll be going. What? You're leaving now? I'm not going to stay here and argue with you. You're obviously in a bad mood. I think you might want to collect your thoughts a bit. Oh yes, Marion, ruminating is the best use of my time, clearly. What do you want from me? Not this, don't talk to me that way. Did you forget who I am? No, I didn't. But when you act like a child, I'll treat you like one. How am I acting childish? Don't lash out at me, I did nothing to you. Yes, you did. Probably, I don't know. Anyhow, get out. Go have a wonderful day and leave me to rot. Uh, I want to snap something back at him, but decide to hold my tongue. All right, Jack. If you need anything, you know where to find me. Ha. Huh. I need something else to think about. Oh, Marion, I was hoping you'd show up. Here I am. What do you need? Those pesky vines are starting to creep in. Would you mind cutting them down? Ugh, vines again. There's just no end to them. I'm sure it'll be easier once the winter comes. It won't. The winter has nothing to do with it. Yeah, sure. Oh no. Another quake. This can't be happening again. Huh? Hmm. Are you okay? Ah, I'm fine. It's just... Maybe I shouldn't tell you, but... Huh? What is it? Mmm, fine. You should know it too. Before the castle got warped, there were a lot of little earthquakes like that. But then they just stopped, so I hoped that was that. But now they're back. I hope it doesn't mean the castle has started warping again. What will ease her worry here? It was probably a coincidence those two things were happening at the same time. You think so? Yeah, I don't think they have anything to do with each other. I hope so. Don't worry, you're overthinking it. Yeah, you're probably right. I do my best to keep the vines out of the kitchen. The cook gives me a smile, but we both know it's useless. It's still early, but I'm exhausted. I should call it a day. Marion! Or not. Hello, Jack. I've been doing some thinking. What a coincidence, me too. Well, yours is irrelevant. I've concluded that the Dreamcaster is useless. Hmm. Yep. Therefore, I need to find the witch who gave it to me and demand a new one. Oh, come on. What? 
It's not the Dreamcaster that has grown weak. It's the King's negativity that is growing stronger. So you say, but what proof do you have? Even if you get another Dreamcaster, so what? This is just going to keep happening over and over. And eventually there won't be a Dreamcaster that's strong enough. Again, what do you base this claim on? Ah, enough, Jack. You can't keep delaying the inevitable like this. Oh, the inevitable. Do tell me what that is, Marion. His majesty needs to die. C come again? He's not gonna just sleep it off, Jack. He's gone mad. How dare you talk about his majesty this way? We both know how this ends. Do we now? Just look at this place. You keep dilly-dallying around while the castle rots around us. You're the king. Do something. Oh. Well? Are you quite finished, Marion? Hmm. <sighs> I'm sorry, Jack. I apologize. I spoke out of line. I won't take it back, though. I meant what I said. You've gotten quite stubborn. I don't like it. I'm not here for you to like me. Huh. The king stays asleep. Understood. Our next move is to find the witch without leaving the king unattended. That's all I needed from you today. Great, Jack is definitely angry at me. But I don't regret my words at all. Jack isn't stupid, he'll come around. I hope. Z z z z z z z z z Ugh, another quake. Let Jack take care of it. Okay, I can't leave it up to him. He might have slept through it. Or fallen down the stairs and broken his neck. Everything is normal here. Looks like Jack did come take care of it. Hmm. This is so stupid. There his majesty sleeps, only causing trouble. I could kill Jack's precious king right here, right now. And Jack could have me killed then. But wouldn't I die a hero? Not that anyone would know. Still, I don't fancy myself a martyr. You just keep on sleeping while I still let you. Holy shit, Marion's <laughs> becoming the real villain. I make sure I lock the door after me. Marion, there you are. Jack again, I'm so sick of seeing his face already. Looks like it wasn't all you needed today after all. I don't pay you to have an attitude. Besides, I clearly said that yesterday. It's still yesterday, all the way until morning. Don't be ridiculous, it's tomorrow after midnight. Anyhow, that doesn't matter one bit. Get back in the lair. Oh, <laughs> he's taking us in here. So here we are again. You said his majesty needs to die. But why is that? Ah... <sighs> Because, Jack, you're the one saying his grief or whatever is going to warp everything around him, and that he went mad and will wreak havoc. So, we just kill toys who don't behave accordingly? I want to yell. I want to punch this bastard in the face 10,000 times. Don't put words in my mouth. I did no such thing. I'm simply framing this differently for you. Is this what you came here for? You figured out how to make me look like the villain, so you ran here head first to tell me. I thought there might be a better reason why you're so willing to kill his majesty. It can't be that you're only worried about something that might never happen. You're reaching for the knife when the status quo would do just fine. Ah, <sighs> enough, Jack. We both know how it is. Please enlighten me. What do you mean this time? Why do you keep arguing with me if I'm wrong? Just fire me. Aren't you just looking for me to convince you? Ha, that's a mighty fine delusion. It's because once I prove you wrong, I know I'm right. Ah, I'm beginning to think you gave me this key to get me to do the dirty work. Then you can pretend you didn't know. So I can take all the blame and you don't have to feel bad. You give me too much credit. I gave you the key because I trust you. And because you're right about one thing. I can't afford to risk the king waking up simply because I'm too busy or dead to cast the spell. So help me, Marion. I am helping. Oh my good grief. Is this ever going to end? Probably once the king wakes up and ends the world. Ah, that's it. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Good night, Marion, you pest. <laughs> We've been demoted from chamber maiden to pest. The king is going to destroy the toy box scene as we know it because of Jack's stupid sentimentality. Fat chance I can sleep. And should I be going to sleep at this point anyway? It's like five seconds until dawn. I want to scream. I want to yell. None of this needs to happen at all. I hope the king chokes on his spit while he sleeps. Why is Jack so stubborn about this? Was his majesty really such a great guy in the first place? Is Jack in love with him or something? What's so great about his majesty? I should just go home, tell my master everything, and hopefully they show up with pitchforks. Ah, uh, no, I didn't mean that. I'm just tired. Maybe I will sleep for a bit after all. I sleep in. Jack is going to be furious with me. It was my job to cast the spell during the mornings. To my surprise, Jack isn't here. The glow around the king is weak too. I quickly cast the spell. Weird, why isn't Jack here? No, actually it's not weird. Jack trusts me to do this, of course he'd assume I'll do it even if we have a fight. Huh, 
I almost screwed the whole castle up just now, huh? I should grow up. Vines, vines everywhere. Many of them have been sliced off recently. The slices got sloppier and sloppier as I go forward. The guard's sword must have doled around this point. I wander around the castle aimlessly for a while. I keep expecting to run into Jack, but I don't. Uh, yeah, we gotta find him. We gotta find our lover boy. Fine, so I might want to see him. Fine, fine. I hope he isn't mad at me. Oh, he's gonna be pissed. Nothing. Jack? Hmm. No answer. That in itself is an answer, isn't it? Ah, no, 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 no. Don't read into it. He's just not in his room right now. I'll try again later. As expected, all the vines I slaved away to cut are back. Hi there. Hi. What's wrong? Uh, Jack. <laughs> it's Jack. I think I made him mad. Yikes, getting on the bad side of our king. Huh? Oh, that's right. Other toys respect Jack. Somehow that completely slipped my mind. Well, don't worry. We are so short-staffed right now, he can't afford to execute you. Ha 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 ha. You have a surprisingly morbid sense of humor. I begrudgingly cut the vines once more. It occurs to me that since these vines come from the king, maybe the king feels me cutting them. That'd be a kind of weird surprise twist. <laughs> the king's just like, Oh, please stop, stop cutting me. And uh, that's why he's getting grumpier and more awake. Just the thought makes the activity a little less horrible. Take that, you son of a bitch. Keep testing me, see what happens. I'll cut you right up every time. Ha 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 ha. Ha. <sighs> Still no sight of Jack. Is he avoiding me? Really? Would he do something petty like that? <laughs> sure. Ah, uh, he would. He so would, just to make me run around and worry like this. Well, joke's on you. You want to avoid me that bad? I'll quit. Good luck keeping the king asleep all by yourself. Ah, uh, I don't know. I should just see what happens tomorrow before I make any assumptions. On my way to my room, I see one of the servant rooms has a light on. I didn't think there were any other servants staying on this wing. I decide to go say hello. No one is here. Did someone just come in to grab something and leave the light on? Yeah! Jack! What are you smiling about? Nothing, nothing. I'm just happy you seem happy. Well, I'm not so happy to inform you, I'm actually not happy right now. Though seeing you jump is always fun to watch. What are you doing here? I just got tired of moping in my room, so I came to mope here instead. A change in scenery is a change in mind. Uh, right. And I did have a change of mind. Unfortunately. Oh. Ah, you're right. Let's get it over with. Huh? I thought about it over and over, but alas, I don't see any other way. I was casting the spell on his majesty today, and I had to do it several times before it took any effect. So, it's time I put the king out of his misery. Yes. Tomorrow, do you understand? Are you sure? Why do you ask that? Do you want me to change my mind? No, of course not. Then tomorrow it is. That's all I have to say. Jack? Yes? You've got a kingdom to run. Indeed I do. My kingdom. Bow down to your king, peasants. Ha 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 Get over here. Eep. That's exactly right. I am the king. Absolutely. Who is your king, Marion? What's that? <laughs> Don't be shy. It's me. I am the king. Yes, yes, you are my king, of course. You just need the crown and then you look like one too. Yes, and you look like a queen right now. Huh, huh? And just because of that, I'll let you sleep in my bed tonight. Your bed is in the box in your room, isn't it? Of course. Ah, my neck is really going to hurt tomorrow. And not because of the box. Oh yeah, neck, sure. Huh. The box bed is about as comfortable as you'd expect. I don't mind. Finally, this missing king mess comes to an end. I walk around looking for something to kill a sleeping man with. A knife comes to mind, but I don't know how to ask the cook for it. Like, excuse me, Annette, can I get a knife for no reason? Thank you. Goliathos has a sword, but I doubt he'll part with it. I suppose I could find a rope. Oh, we're gonna rope the king. I find Jack in his tower as expected. Welcome back. I couldn't find anything. I could, and I did. His majesty has a sword, but I will not harm him with that. But I told Goliathos I saw some rats in the garden. He lent me one of his daggers. Whenever you're ready. Jack takes an extraordinarily long time with everything. The king rests peacefully. Jack looks ready to back out. This needs to be done. I know. Do you want me to do it? No, I'll do it. He doesn't. I wait. Jack has the dagger, but it's not pointed at the king. I don't know why exactly, but I know he won't do it. Something about his posture, maybe the look on his face. Ah, I can't do it. There it is. Jack. I can't do it, Marion. 
He is my king. So that's how it's going to be. I grab Jack's hand, still holding the dagger, and stab the king with him. It was badly aimed, and the king starts thrashing and yelling in his sleep. Jack finishes the king off with one swift strike, ending his majesty's agony. God damn, we finally did it. <laughs> we murdered the king. We've committed our regicide. Had he done so from the start, I doubt the king would have felt anything. Ah, it's done. Ah, ha, ha. ah, I am the king. Yes, King Jack. King Jack. Ah, ha, 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 ha. I am the king. I bow my head. No, what? Stop that. You're the one who shed away my weakness. You are my equal. I don't think that's how it works. Your thinkings are none of my concern. What contradictory messages? Mary and my love, you will rule with me. I will. Yes, it's an order. So much for being equal, huh? Quit this nitpicking. I'm asking you to marry me. Huh? Oh, I had no idea. Good grief. Well, which is it? All right. <laughs> He's finally asking for our hand in marriage. I think we will accept. We'll allow Jack to put a ring on it. All oh, let's go. Wonderful. Though, I won't actually marry you. Huh? I need offspring, I need a queen. That's true. Still, my heart have it, Marion. It is all yours when no one is looking. All right. Well, we're, we're gonna be in the cuck chair? I've got an idea. Yes. You dared to say yesterday that my precious bed reminded you of a coffin. Well, it is a wooden box with padding. Yes, yes, anyhow, I'm done with hiding in it. Bring it here. Oh, come on, I'd have to drag it down and upstairs. Are you serious? Yes, and I'm also the king. Bring me my box. And also, I want to say goodbye to my friend, alone. I see. Oh, okay. I maneuver Jack's box down from the tower and then back up to the king's chamber. We place the king in the box. Jack locks it up. Then we carry the box into the hallway together. Round up the gods. I'm going to claim my throne. I have no idea what he's planning, but I do what he says. Soon the guards arrive and I'm told to get lost. The next day, Jack has his guards carry the box to town along with some dead wood. I doubt they have any idea what's inside. Jack announces that since the king has been missing for so long, his majesty is declared dead. He will inherit the throne and shed his identity as a jack-in-the-box. And in a grand gesture, he sets his old box on fire. The crowd seems to accept this, though there are no cheers. It is a day of mourning. Oh no. Jack is now the rightful king of Toyboxian. I help him rule the land from the shadows. Oh, we're like a, a shadow, uh, I was gonna say shadow puppet, but I was like, we're the, the shadow master. And as much as Jack claims he's going to marry a princess, he never does. I think it's because no princess wants to put up with Jack, or become the queen of a castle where a king has mysteriously disappeared. That's fair. But I am glad Jack is the king. He's moody, whiny, and has a temper. I'm the one keeping him in check. Sometimes he admits that he loves me, Though he'll claim he was lying soon after. What a piece of work, our king. Oh, there we are. <laughs> All right, I will admit, he does look dashing in his crown. <laughs> there we go, we've done it. This was actually so much longer than I was thinking it would be. I thought that this ending was just going to be like a quick, you know. Okay, maybe it's like the same amount as the last one where it's like 30 or so minutes. Th this was a long ending to get to, holy shit. We're, we're gonna reject poor Jack here. We're, we're gonna tell him to get lost. Ah, well. Can't have everything, I suppose. Just the whole kingdom. Ah, I've got an idea. Yes. You dared to say yesterday that my precious bed reminded you of a coffin. Well, it is a wooden box with padding. Yes, yes. Anyhow, I'm done with hiding in it. Uh, let's see. Is this gonna be pretty much the same here? Say goodbye to a friend alone. Maneuver the box, we place it there, we uh, round up the gods, the usual fun stuff. Uh, yep, dead king inside, we're gonna set it on fire, everyone accepts, it's a day of mourning. He's the rightful king and we're his shadow hand. Okay, so it is basically the same ending except we're not kind of hiding under his arm there. Okay, there we go, we've done it. We have achieved one more ending. But with that, we have another route down, uh... Honestly, from here, it should be pretty easy to kind of get the other ones. It feels like we've laid the groundwork going through each of the uh, primary big routes there. So thank you so much to all the party members that came out today. And thank you to all the new ones that have been joining us. In the next uh, few episodes of this, we should be able to round up the rest of the endings and uh, hopefully get the complete story of what's going on here. <laughs> but thank you so much, everyone. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>